And live on Facebook, Zoom and St. Michael Zoom and All Angels. That's where we are. There it goes. There we go. There we go. Four yes. Boy, it's got a tag up here that says, got it, leave meeting. I need to get got it right. Got it. Yes. You wouldn't want to leave now. No, I didn't <laughs> think so. But these cotton electronic devices leave me in the dust. <laughs> <laughs> they are so. <sighs> Yes. So there, there are some limited possibilities here tonight. Good evening, Gianna and Gail. Welcome, welcome. We do have live on Zoom, Gianna, if you would like to join us there as well for our nine o'clock Zoom Compline. We are here on Facebook as we usually are, and we are also face-to-face -face and voice-to-voice -voice sharing our prayers in person. And you are more than welcome to uh, text me or message me. I've sent a few messages along the way. Oh, I don't need to Saint hear. Saint Michael Zoom. Do not need to hear my voice coming back at me. That we don't need. Uh, I am uh, sharing the Zoom invitation for folks who have been regular attenders with us over the pandemic, the last year and a half to share with us in person. If you would like to join by Zoom, we can certainly do that. I'm also using this hour as we welcome people into the Zoom room. Oh, I'm also using this hour as- Okay, quiet, 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 Matthew. Using this time to make sure that we yes. are sending, uh, sending it live to all of the usual suspect places, such as, E-D-N-I-N, Virtual Worship, the Episcopal Diocese of Northern Indiana Worship, here on Compline Night Prayer, 9 p.m. Eastern. And the one place where we're going to be lacking tonight will be YouTube. We are not going to have it uh, simulcast on YouTube. It's just one of the things we are not able to, one of the tech pieces we are not able to do. And, uh, oh, it's not working there. Okay, so it's not sharing positively to the EDNIN virtual worship page. So let's see if it shares over to the St. Michael's page. Well, that one shared just fine. And now we're going to share over to Nope, not there. We're going to try sharing it once again to EDNIN Virtual Worship and see if the diocese is able. Nope, for some reason, the diocese is not able to receive it tonight, but that is as it may be. We are praying our way through Compline tonight. And folks are sending messages in asking to join us on Zoom. You are welcome to join us on Zoom tonight for our 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 Central Compline prayer service. You are also welcome to continue to log in here on Facebook and pray along with us with your Book of Common Prayer on page 127. And there is Deacon Clay coming in. Good evening, Deacon Clay. How are you? Good evening, all. I'm good. Deacon Clay, I think you have uh, met Terry Lynn and Will before, at least on Facebook by, by name. I have yeah, I talked with Terry Lynn on the phone as well, mm -hmm. not long ago. So. Yes, we did chat. Just randomly turn off your video anytime you want, Father Matthew. That's it. That's that that that's it. As I'm moving things around here on the desk, exactly. So 
we had a lovely vacation in Wisconsin with a couple of the kids and enjoy time with family and truly unplugged. Truly, it's unplugged. your Philip cheese curds, did you? I, I did have quite the uh, fill of cheese curds, fried cheese, goat cheese, uh, hey, wow. fog. Uh, every night, we I will confess, we like cheese boards, either for appetizers or desserts. I like to call them squeakers up in Wisconsin. Yes, they do squeak. That they do. That they do. Have you all had a good weekend? No, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it was a uh, it was a long week leading up to the weekend. So I can't believe Monday is right around the corner again. So yeah, is the college taking any time off? Or are you taking any time off from the college? Well, as a matter of fact, I am uh, officially on vacation uh, at the end of this week. Okay. <clears throat> through the the following Tuesday. Uh, so Fourth of July weekend, that ensuing week, and a couple of additional days the following week. I go back to work on what is it? Uh, July fourteenth. That's a nice break. We are going up to um what I want to pronounce Charlevoix, but what the locals in Northern Michigan pronounce, pronounce Charlevoix, mm. which is right near Petoskey and so. I am sending someone, sending a couple of links out while we, while we talk. Need we have our prayer books handy, or will you be displaying text on the screen? I will. I will actually not be displaying text on the screen. So if you have a P BCP handy for page one twenty seven, we will be yep. excellent. All good. I was doing a lot of screen sharing when I was uh, first began, and then I discovered throughout the course of our time together that many people had BCPs handy and I used it as an evangelical opportunity to send uh, BCPs to folks along the way. So Dog will be joining us for Compline on here. <laughs> That's oh, yes. Great. I have a friend who is asking if uh, Abby was going to be joining us. She's actually on the couch in the other room. Yes. And uh, I do hear that we're going to have a furry friend or two also joining us tonight. I'm not sure if they'll come across, but Neighbors are already uh, igniting fireworks in the area. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm blessed that my 15-year-old pup has uh, poor hearing now, and so she is less disturbed by fireworks and storms, storms and thunder. Yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah, well, sometime during the course of the weekend, sounds like a young war down here. Oh, I'll bet. <laughs> I have a friend who spent some time in Afghanistan, and uh, every time uh, the he, he could be in the middle <clears throat> of doing something else, and he hears the uh, explosion go off for the 4th of July, someone's got firecrackers next door, and all of a sudden he says, well, it's been years, but look at that, I'm... I'm back in the Humvee in Afghanistan. Look at that. Lisa. Hi, how are you? Hello, it's so good to see you. It's so good to see you too. So I have to introduce you to someone. Hello. 
Hello. Eddie. Hello, Eddie. <laughs> oh, sweet. Hello, this, Eddie. This is my new son. Hello, yes. son. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing Lisa. Lovely. Oh, he's oh. my number. He is number six. Oh, he is number mm -hmm. six that I have rescued. Good heavens, you do have to be careful on Zoom calls. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, he's he is um, he is number six. And I thought about you earlier, my brother was here um, and he said to me, he's like, why didn't you rescue a dog that was younger? And I said, it was God's calling, you know, after I lost Tyson, oh, I, you know, I, I just, I cried for like a month. And I said, you know, the Cocker Spaniel Rescue called me and they said, we have a dog that has um, been dumped off at a shelter. Mm -hmm. And he, he has cancer, but we're working our way through it. And um, he had major surgery and they said he needs a place to heal. Mm -hmm. So that was about four months ago. <laughs> so oh. I just, I knew, I knew when he came out of surgery, I was like, he's mine. Oh. And we needed each other. Yeah. So it was God's calling. So he's 12. Oh, and um, it, it, look at the camera, Eddie. Hello, Eddie. Eddie. Hello, Abby. Uh, uh, Abby uh, says uh, hello, but she can't hear me in the other room because she is she's fifteen and doesn't quite have her hearing anymore. Oh, Abby! Abby is so cute. Uh, wow, she's fifteen. I know. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> All right, so somebody's not on I video. See. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Lisa. I know. Uh, Father Matthew from Christchurch in um, Alexandria. How is Christchurch? Oh. You know what? I haven't been back there in a while. Um, there were some differences that I had uh, with the church on things, which I won't get into. But um, so I haven't been back there. I go to St. Paul's and they just started opening up. Um, oh, so I guess they're I guess they're well. Good. I guess St. Paul's is St. Paul's as well. And there's Gail and probably Ridge is not too far away. Oh, Eddie, where are you going? Let's... But one more there. fact, uh, speaking of Alexandria, I think Father Matthew actually studied at the library at Alexandria. <laughs> <laughs> actually, Deacon Clay, I was at a, I was the seminarian before I ended up at Christ Church, I was a seminarian at another church in Alexandria called St. Clement. Oh, that's right around the corner from me. Yes. That's up on Quaker. Yep. St. Yeah. Clement of Alexandria. Come there on. you go. Come on. Hello, Gail. Hi. You got to come. We, you gotta come. we lived right next to St. Clement's in Fairlington for 16 years. Oh. We're now in close to the river in Collingwood. So we well, that's a there. lovely area. I it that. is. Well, that's a lovely area. So sorry, Eddie has joined us again. <laughs> oh, Collingwood can, is Collingwood is nice. It's right next to Waynewood. And yep. um, you know all these bucolic names. And but we're right by the bike path. And my daughter bikes on the bike path all the time. Oh, how it's nice. nice. Oh, it's so lovely. I'm just checking out our Facebook stream again to see if there's anyone we've missed. Oh. Such a joy. So how do you like it out there in Indiana? I, get, I bet you guys get some snow. We get some snow and we got some tornadoes recently. <gasps> oh my goodness. Good times. Branches down and Will and Terry Lynn are in Southern Ohio. So a little flooding, uh, we got a little flooding. Oh, yep, and we got flooding as well. Yep, Deacon Clay is- How did you here. do your background? Whoever, who's the gentleman that spoke a minute ago? Deacon Clay. <laughs> Deacon but Clay, your background is really cool. So it's really just the inside of our bedroom. And uh, Facebook has, or Facebook, Zoom has a uh, 
a virtual background feature that just blurs the background. Oh, okay. So you can't see how horribly cluttered it is. It sort of looks <laughs> artistic. So for all you know, I'm I'm just super neat. <laughs> right. You go to uh, the more the three dots that say more, mm -hmm. and you can choose background and filters, Lisa. Oh, and, thank you. And you can click um, on I filters. can make myself a cat, right? Just like the guy. Yeah. That <laughs> or you can blur, you can blur, you can put a photograph in the background. You oh, backgrounds and filters. Oh, this is so much yes. fun. Yeah. Oh, one, like a one, of the backgrounds, one of the backgrounds is, uh, <laughs> is just uh, blur. Okay. Okay. Another, re another request for Zoom info here. Let me send that along. My, I selected blur. Oh wow, isn't that interesting? It is. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody walking in the basement. This is not charging. I need to find a charger. <sighs> okay, I'm in. I wonder if I, I don't know if I can sit. I'm on my tablet. I can't set it down, but that's okay. <clears throat> well, it is yeah. 9.01, and I know a couple of friends are also joining us in just a moment, but if we could make Brief intro. All right, can you walk? I will uh, invite you to uh, introduce yourself for those of us here on Zoom. And okay. uh, if you're joining us on Facebook tonight, if you would like the Zoom link, I would love to send you the yes. Zoom link to friends who have been praying <laughs> along with us especially over the pandemic <laughs> and invite you to. Uh, Join the join the prayers and the conversations tonight. Oh, and there's my mom coming. Oh, in. I want to oh. see your mom. <laughs> we are uh, logging in on Facebook uh, on Zoom, and then it's live here on Facebook tonight at nine Eastern, eight Central. And if you have a BCP, a Book of Common Prayer, handy, I invite you to bring that up and turn to page one twenty seven. Uh, I don't have it in the comment link as I usually do, uh, but I, I can, thought we I can pop it in there if, if you like. That would be great. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah, you. let me just do that real quick like here. Just got to grab my... Oddly enough, I have it on my tablet and I'm zooming on my tablet. Ah. <laughs> All right. And Although I could probably bring it up on my phone. Yeah, let me just get... I'm actually doing... Uh, Facebook on my phone, but I will pop in here. Oh my God, oh, look at this, this is cool. I'm such a child, you know, it, it's terrible. Well, most of us never, never leave uh, eighth grade. Oh, you know what, is that me? I was trying to figure you know it out and it left before I realized Could it. Could have been me. You know, you know what? I just closed out of Facebook because I think because I have Facebook open and Zoom. Yep. I wonder That'll if do. that was me. That'll I think it was me. I was trying to get off my iPad because I couldn't get a, a video on it. And I was just getting off it and into the um, telephone. <laughs> so I, I think it was in my little bitty box tonight. <laughs> I'm stuck in here. <laughs> Hey, mom. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, there's your mom. <laughs> I'm going to say Maybe hello can... to a few folks who are on Facebook. Uh, Raylen is joining us in the car and not on fa uh, not on uh, Zoom tonight. So welcome, Raylen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And Susan is with us as well. Uh, yes, it's almost been a biblical proportion with floods, snows, tornadoes, and a heat wave. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, Jessica and Mark. Good to see you too. And Luann, hello there. And Father Matthew, you might note that I did just paste the uh, the link there. If if you are in charge of the Facebook stream, you might be able to okay. pin pin that. 
I, so that it doesn't scroll up? I can do that. I can do that. Actually, it gives me a delete and a hide function, but not a pin function. So, are you are you on as you? Or are you on as the parish? Or I am on as myself. Let's see if I can pin it. Oh wait, there it is. Got it. Got it. Got uh, it. Okay. Pinned up. Great. Good. I I'll see that. Up. Excellent. Before we begin tonight, we could make some brief introductions about uh, where we're calling in from on Zoom, at least, and. Uh, one thing that's gotten you through the pandemic, uh, one one thing, but one one thing that has brought you joy uh, for all the Zoom conversations that we've had to had, and uh, one one thing of comfort that might be sitting near your computer tonight, or near your your laptop. And I'm uh, I'm just grateful to see your faces, <laughs> Fre friends and mom from. Uh, lots of different places, all in one place. I often say our internet and Facebook is like a Frank Capra movie at the end <laughs> where everybody from the town, from all aspects of life seem to come together and such a joy. Um, I have, uh, I will say that I have rediscovered my- hey, Lynn, uh, I think that's the, uh, the St. Michael's page. <laughs> Uh oh, just muted that one. There we go. Not the cicadas, huh? Right. <laughs> um, I, I have done a lot of Bible reading during the pandemic and uh, on our vacation in Wisconsin this weekend. Uh, my son in law, Alex's mom, handed me a novel, a uh, Louise Penny novel called A Beautiful Mystery, and I've gotten halfway through it. And I don't read nearly enough novels. And all I can say is, uh, Melissa said it was nice to finally see me uh, praying and reading something besides the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I have a book for you when I see you this summer. Yes. What's that, Mom? Robert E. Lee and Me. Ah, oh. I that one. Yes. I, I, I hardly recommend it, particularly for any Southerners. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well, Will, let's start with you. Will, if you'll give us a brief introduction where you're zooming in from and uh, something that's brought you comfort here over the course of the pandemic. Okay, my name is Will Backhouse, and uh, I live in the Cincinnati area. Uh, that's Cincinnati, Ohio. And uh, I guess the one thing about this that has brought me comfort is that I'm able to be together virtually with a group of people that I can share with. Yeah. Thank you, Will. Yeah. The end. Deacon, Deacon Clay, why don't you pick up next? Sure. Um, I'm Deacon Clay Berkeley, as my, uh, my little tag there indicates. Father Matthew kindly renamed me. Um, I serve as the deacon at St. David's Episcopal Church in Elkhart, uh, even though I live in South Bend, just a, a few minutes from, uh, from St. Michael and All Angels, uh, almost the same distance from the cathedral. Uh, in, in any case, um, comfort during the pandemic, uh, always in, in our prayers. Uh, I found great uh, sense of purpose in uh, helping others uh, deal with uh, the grief that grief of all kinds that came with the uh, the pandemic uh, talking to people on the phone helping them uh, you know stay ahead of things themselves uh, just those not not just times of prayer but times of discussion uh, and being able to uh, to get a sense of solidarity. Matthew, we finally got uh, the new version of Zoom uh, going. Obviously, the first part of the question was, where are we? What was the question? Because I wasn't uh, on. Shar, uh, why don't you go next? Uh, where you're Zooming in from and something that has brought you comfort during the pandemic. Oh, well, where am I? Uh, 
We're in uh, South Bend, Indiana, and I think we're about ready to um, maybe dig out the plans for an ark. <laughs> uh, yeah. I asked my son today if he could translate uh, cubits for the, uh, the pattern, oh. and he said it wasn't going to be a problem. So he goes, <laughs> my son is a, a, a journeyman carpenter. Um, anyhow, what gave me comfort during the pandemic? Growing things inside and out when I could get outside uh, uh, flowers and when inside uh, propagating lots of new little plants, uh, including a, a certain person's spider plant. <laughs> Thank and you. Also, I, have a um, I took a great deal of uh, joy being able to get outside and kill thousands of weeds in my garden. <laughs> With no guilt. That spider plant was given to me by Eleanor Wilson when I arrived here 12 years ago, and Shar has helped me to keep it propagated. Oh. Eleanor has two homes, Christ Church, Alexandria, and St. Matthew's in Wheeling, uh, West Virginia. And uh, so I, I take great, great joy in that spider plant that she gave me. Lisa, would you introduce yourself to folks and what's brought you joy? Sure. Actually, I was trying to find a picture of it, but if I come across it, I'll, I'll bring it up on here. Um, hi, I'm Lisa Devon, and Eddie is here Hello, with Eddie. me. My, my son, Eddie, who is snoring away. Um, what brought me joy during the pandemic? Um, the virus itself didn't scare me. It was people reacting around here because I'm so close to D.C. So I felt... Oh. Um, thank goodness. I'm so very blessed. I have a retirement. So I wasn't affected financially. So I went up to um, the city of Alexandria and I was like, what can I do to help? Mm. So they said, go over to TC Williams High School. And of course, I had to wear my Annandale High School shirt there because <laughs> um, I'm an Adam. And I started making lunches. I have never known what it's like to miss a meal or go hungry mm -hmm. and so I stood for that was my five or six weeks I was up there three four days a week we got up to sending out four thousand meals and I would after we put the meals together we would then get on school buses and I was like this is fun I haven't been on a bumpy school bus and you know like 30 years and we drove around to four different neighborhoods. And I have to tell you, I was in tears handing out meals to people. I was so grateful I found that opportunity. So I, what the pandemic did for me was it grounded me and said, oh my goodness, you have food in your refrigerator. You have electricity, you know, you have your vision, you, you have so much. Um, so anyway, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yeah, ramble on. And, and like I said, when I did post the pictures from T.C. Williams, <laughs> I did make sure I had an Annadale Adams shirt on. <laughs> so I wouldn't get ribbed by too many of my uh, high school buddies. There are so many blessings here in the pandemic in the, in the midst of grief and difficulty. It's amazing. It's just amazing. Gail, it's good to see your face as well. Oh. <laughs> My sister did the same thing, Lisa. In, oh, really? In Norton, Ohio. She, that was her job. It wasn't, you know, if she got paid for it. But because the kids were not in school, they sent them out in school buses to hand out food to the kids who normally got um, free and reduced lunches. And, you know, she's a Christian. She, she felt that it was very fulfilling. Myself, um, I think I got the most comfort out of two things, other than my family, but especially other than my grandson, who I love and adore. Uh, and it was Matthew's um, Compline on weekends. Yes. And yes. those three days just really did it. Oops. And... Um, Daughter, our Daughters of the King meetings mm. on Zoom. Yeah. Where people were much more intimate and 
and open. Uh, then they would be in a room at church with a lot of food on the table. <laughs> it was it was so integrating. I mean, it's just we couldn't do without each other. I'm sort of sorry that it has to end doing those meetings that way. But I mean, it's everything ends, right? Hopefully, really hopefully we can learn from the pandemic how to continue the intimacy, the, the, the odd intimacy we found on, on Zoom and Facebook. Uh, yeah. Well. Please give Ridge my love as well. I will. Luann, it's so good to see you too. Luann's oh, yeah. muted. Yeah, I think she tried to unmute and managed to turn off her camera. Luann, come back. Oh, no. Luann, we'll come right back to you, Jessica. Hello. 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 Um, hello. Um, well, I'm, I'm coming from Alexandria, Virginia, and I'm, thank you, Lisa. My daughter's actually going to be a senior at no longer T.C. Williams, but as of now, Alexandria <laughs> City High School. Oh. Uh, because they have changed the name uh, to sort of address um, the fact that uh, T.C. Williams, Thomas Chandler Williams, although a Christchurch uh, parishioner, was um, a fierce integrationist and oh. re de segregationist and um, was not pleased with the Brown versus Board ad, uh, decision. So we are now the Alexander City High School. My daughter will be a senior this year. Um, I but didn't realize they changed the name. Well, that, but that's good though. Yeah, it's really good. Really good. Um, I would say that, um, <laughs> um, so the technology that most got me through the pandemic was the AirPods best gift uh, ever. And, um, but my, uh, my dog mm. has been a, a constant source of uh, comfort. I, of course, <laughs> so, <laughs> of course. He's, your dog's so, name is Mason. Mason, thank you. Mason, oh. and uh, Mason. He, he spends oh. all the work days behind me on the futon in the basement. And I'm not sure I'll be able to transition back to the regular work day without the dog. <laughs> yeah. Just as we can't do uh, church without pajamas and coffee now. <laughs> exactly. yeah. Welcome back, Luann. How are you? I, I am doing well. Thank you for asking. I, you know, I, I have quite the list, really, of the joys that I've had. I'm Luann Erickson, and I'm in Auburn Hills, Michigan. So, um, met up with Father Aunt Faya, some other friends, and anyway, participating in his Bible studies has been a joy. But just, um, I have a group of six people that we meet weekly for Bible study and um, prayer time to pray for the church and we also do a bible study that that group has been my lifeblood of and we've been meeting on zoom and it's just been outstanding and other and i had uh, a half a dozen people that i called weekly which was as much support for me as it was for them to have that reach out to them i think they got at times tired of hearing from me but Anyway, it was important for me. So that's that's been the joy of it all it, for me. Yeah. yeah. Raylan, uh, Raylan added some comments on Facebook. Um, her, her place of comfort during the pandemic was her uh, uh, twin granddaughters born in May, right after Aww. lockdown. And they were baptized last Sundays. Mm. What a blessing, Raylan. Thank you, Deacon Clay. Mark and Liz. Hey there. Hey yeah. there. Uh, this is Mark uh, calling it from Egan, Minnesota. Oh. And uh, I obviously, I'm in Compline's. I, I don't know how many you're up to now, 300 or so of these. <laughs> um, but that's been a big comfort. Um, and also just uh, running. So we're blessed to live right near a big, beautiful park and uh, get to experience all, all four seasons in there, ran in the winter and the snow and now in the, in the uh, summer with the heat and 
all that. So that's been a, a great source of uh, joy throughout this. And I'll, I'll continue that for sure. I think about you when I run, Mark. We have a, a when I move <clears throat> to the patch of grass and try to protect my knees. Uh, yeah, I stay, stay on the trails, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Give our love to Liz, too. Will do. Thank you. Terry Lynn. Hi. You know, I'm um, Terry Lynn, and Will and I are in the same house. <laughs> uh, we're spouse and spouse, and uh, that was a poet poem, I guess. Uh, we, we live in Cincinnati, Ohio, but we travel. We've traveled a couple times now up to South Bend, Indiana, where we really would like to be. <laughs> um, and we'll be continuing Compline on Monday and Tuesday for you. So um, Matthew has this quad, quadruple restream thing. We're just going to do it on the St. Michael and All Angels website. And on and on Zoom too. So if you want a link, just you know, just message. Um, the thing that has guarded my heart the most is Compline, but also, and that's how we found you guys. Um, and then the other thing is music, mm. because um, we learned how to produce music at least a few times so far um for the service by knitting things together in a program while people sang individually um by no means um expert at it still haven't mastered the visual square thing you know but uh you know music has been a great sustaining thing and also the noon um wednesday noon uh, prayer service noon uh, service of noonday and our lectionary study that follows great examples of care and concern for one another and for Matthew and for also you know people that we have never met uh, last a week and a half ago while I was watching uh, the service on Sunday was communicating with somebody in Uganda Isn't oh my goodness yeah yeah so uh, who had watched, it was watching the service from, from Africa. Wow. It's amazing what, what the Lord will do. Thank you. Thank you, Terry Lynn. Carol. I think what, what has brought me the most joy is the regularity of the, the Wednesday noon that Terry Lynn was reply, replying and that let that both the prayer and the lectionary and then the compline ha and having some of those regular disciplines in the in the week have been really they've brought me a lot of joy and the other thing I have enjoyed is that we do have the technology to keep in contact with friends and uh, and have made some very disciplined decisions about keeping contact with with some special friends. Yeah, that's been really important for me. I thank you, Carol. I sometimes joke that it's taken a pandemic to get the church to move into the twenty first century with the technology to stay in touch. Yeah, <laughs> Mom, I think you are last and far from least. My mom, Marie. Hey, everybody. Uh, well, I'm in Alexandria, Virginia at Honeycomb House for the first time in 15 months. Thank goodness. I got caught by the pandemic in Miami, um, and I'm glad to be up here. Sad to hear what's happening in Miami. I've been following that. It's about 15 minutes south of where I live in my condo, so uh, prayers for all of those folks. But what's gotten me through the pandemic, um, I guess... First of all, well, here she comes in my everyday life, my little pug, Chloe, Hello. who is jumping all over me tonight. <laughs> and then my family, both my uh, dear son and family in Miami that checked on me regularly and my daughter-in-law brought me food. And then my family uh, in South Bend and Megan in Wisconsin, everybody's texted and called and, and this compline uh, particularly was very touching and enjoyed meeting 
everybody that's been associated with Matthew. And in particular, I have to say my dear sweet son Matthew's voice, one of the memories it brought back to me, and I shared this with him. When he was in high school at night, he used to come in and sit down and talk to me and just talk and talk. And sometimes I was really tired and I have to admit, I fell asleep on him. <laughs> but he has this beautiful voice and I have to admit a time or two, I fell asleep at compliment <laughs> listening to it too. But it brought back that beautiful memory. So thank you for your beautiful voice and words as always, Matthew. Even, even now priests love it when when you fall asleep while they're talking. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that's the that's the reason we try to be quiet in church because people are going to sleep. <laughs> hey, friends. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Marie? Yes. The, the thing that is, is, uh, you know, you can always go back out and watch the videos. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, thank you or for the- kind of hear it in my mind in the background. <laughs> Thank you for the long introductions. This is usually the full amount of time we take for Compline, but I figure it's the first time we get to see one another face to face. And uh, mom, if you have any more stories, uh, I might have to preview them first and keep the mute button close by just in case. That's all right, just, just like I used to do to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna light my prayer lamp for Compline. And we will go ahead and begin on page 127. We will try it cacophonously on Zoom, although uh, I'm perhaps muting as we get to the psalm, uh, just so that we can uh, not, uh, so we can keep the, the recording and the broadcast and the sound. Uh, but for now, we'll do the cacophony until the psalm. I might mute you and then uh, unmute you as we go or invite you to unmute as we go. I thought tonight we would do Psalms 31 and 91. I would like to invite you to pray Psalm 91 with me with a difference. Uh, we don't always do this, but uh, if you would use the feminine pronouns for when the psalmist speaks of God or when, the, when God is speaks of of the psalmist. Uh, we have lots of masculine language uh, continued through the psalms, uh, but as we do every now and then, I'd like to invite you to pray the feminine uh, pronouns. Again, Psalm 91 and... Uh, 31, 31, 31 and 91, you. and I will, uh, I will call those out as we go. Beginning on page 127, an order for Compline. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the Maker of the maker. heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God. Our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it, As was, it in was, was in the beginning, is, is now, is and will now be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah indeed. Friends, I invite you to put mute on just for now as we continue with Psalms 31 and 91. Let us pray Psalm 31 and then Psalm 
91 with the feminine pronouns. Psalm 31. Into, uh, in you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Psalm 91. She who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. She shall say to the Lord, you are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. She shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. She shall cover you with her pinions, and you shall find refuge under her wings. Her faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge and the most high your habitation. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For she shall give her angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder you shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because she is bound to me in love, therefore will I deliver her. I will protect her because she knows my name. She shall call upon me and I will answer her. I am with her in trouble. I will rescue her and bring her to honor. With long life will I satisfy her and show her my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not, be to God. do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Terry Lynn has posted thank you into the comment section, our hymn, where it says a hymn suitable for the evening may be sung. I invite you to be on mute and but to sing along with me. To thee before the close of day, creator of the world, we pray, that we thy would be our God and keeper now. 
Come all ill dreams to fend our eyes. Come nightly fears and fantasies. Drive under foot of ghostly foe that no pollution we may know. O oh, Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, o God of truth. Of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us oh, under the shadow oh, of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive, and forgive us, us our trespasses, as we as forgive those who pass against, against us, and lead us not, us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver, but deliver us, us from evil. Lord, hear Amen. our prayer, and let Amen. us pray. Let us pray. Visit, we beseech thee, O Lord, this habitation and each and every one of these habitations. Drive far from them all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace. And let your blessing be upon us always through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Say with me the keep watch found on the next page. <laughs> keep watch, watch your Lord, Lord with those, those who work, work or, or watch or weep this night, this night. And, and give your heart for those who weep. Tend the sick, the sick Lord Christ. Give, give rest to the weary. Bless, bless the blessed night. Friends, I invite your prayers, spoken aloud or still in the silence of our hearts. For those of us here gathered on Zoom, I invite you to offer your prayers aloud. If you are joining us on Facebook. I invite you to share those in the comment section or perhaps whispered into the ears of your heart where God alone in silence waits. <clears throat> For all the victims uh, of the disaster, the uh, apartment complex disaster in Miami, disasters around the world. Um, for all of those responding, those rescuers, searchers, medical staff, and for those who mourn the loss of those who have I died. Didn't take it. I did take it. I did take what? Thank you, Deacon Clay. Lisa, jump in. Anyone can just unmute and jump oh, in. I wanted to um, say a prayer for the first responders. And also, I know they're probably using rescue dogs to listen. Um, I wanted to say a prayer for the first responders and the dogs that are putting their lives in danger to hopefully, hopefully, God willing, save um, those people from that horrible collapse in Miami. Yes, please, Lord. Yes, please. Some prayers. Go ahead. That's okay. Go ahead. Prayers for Will, who has an epidural steroid injection in the spine uh, on Wednesday. He's been in pain for over a month. 
And hopefully this will help to start calming the nerves down that are all squished. Yes, Lord. Freedom and I just, just wanted to join in the prayers for the people in Miami. Uh, right now, there are friends of friends and grandparents of um, people that we know that are missing and uh, pray for the comfort, whatever comfort can be had and uh, the first responders and the dogs who they say are also um, pretty agitated because the dogs that are looking for the, uh, trying to look for the living have not been able to really find any. And so they've had to take dogs over to try to calm them as well as the people. And I guess one of the things that has really been on my mind is that I pray that what happened in the night that most people were at least spared terrible suffering. Lisa, would you like one of us to articulate your prayer or would you like to interject here? Oh, well, I would uh, like to ask you all to continue praying for my friend Inga. Uh, she <laughs> continues to be hospitalized, I guess now for about 10 days. Uh, she has a very serious uh, infection caused by an error uh, during a routine surgery. Oh, no. uh, and, and she has she has said that uh, she thinks that prayer is the most important part of her recovery. So I know she very much appreciates your prayers. What's her name again? All the mess. Inga. She spells it I N G E, but it's actually pronounced Inga. As if, that it, that there's an A at the end. Mm. And Lisa, <clears throat> good to see you, and we continue to pray for Inga. Thank you. Pray for the people, especially on the West Coast, who are undergoing this extreme heat. Yes. Uh, especially those people that do not have either air conditioning or access to uh, any of the shelters that they have open yeah. and also for the people around here that although four to six inches of rain doesn't sound like much to other people uh, in the next four days there's going to be a lot of um, what they call minor flooding for people that live along mm -hmm. some of the, the creeks and uh, and problems with basements and uh, it has the potential if we get any more rain of getting pretty bad. Well, the man, uh, this would be two prayers. One for those that have um, allergies in this time of the year that are really having problems with that they might have some sense of peace and others who are dealing with grief and some of them don't understand that grief is a long-term thing it's no short-term three days yeah. so you know there are a lot of people that need those kinds of prayers that just go to them out there and cover them like a night warm Amen. I, I have just, well, I have one that I'm having a hip replacement Friday. Mm -hmm. And I would appreciate prayers for uh, my doctors. And since I'm high, they call me a high risk patient because I have had a, a heart transplant, um, that it goes well. Thank you. Absolutely for Thursday. And Jessica, lovely to see you, keeping you in prayer as well. Uh, give the kiddos a hello as well. Blessings. Good night, Jessica. I pray for the family of the two boys that I help with in the morning. Uh, the boy is three years old, just has started suffering seizures and has been hospitalized this weekend. And mm. they also have a six-year-old that has autism. Mm. And the, uh, the family feels very much alone and they say that they have no friends uh, and no one they can turn to. They have, uh, they're not from the area and they uh, just very much feel alone and they mm. are, uh, they're hurting. Mm. 
That's good. And as I often do, I offer my prayers for mm -hmm. uh, the mending of frayed and broken relationships uh, that, that many of us have, have uh, undergone, uh, witnessed, been part of uh, for the last actually several years, but especially exacerbated by uh, the time of the pandemic and some of the political upheaval uh, that God will will teach us once again to see each other as he sees us. Yes, please. For all of those that are going to be traveling this uh, 4th of July weekend. Vote for those who are traveling from one one home to another and, and in uh, transitions. I'd like to say a prayer for our kids who are going to be bringing their new boyfriend and girlfriend to uh, Collar, Indiana to meet up with us this week. So okay. safe travels and look forward to meeting them for the first time. They're, they're new friends. And meet the parents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Father Matthew could show up in a funny hat and a blunderbuss. And, you could. Uh, <laughs> you could tell a lot of stories to embarrass I, them, too. I could be the challenge person. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please do. Oh. I'm checking Facebook. I don't see any new prayers over there as well. So let us go ahead and continue at May the bottom. I Yes, please. Is it okay if I, may I add one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to, and now I'm on camera. I hope I don't get upset, but I wanted to say a blessing for Father Matthew. Oh, yes. I don't think you have any idea, any idea how grateful I am as our city was burning <laughs> this yes. time last year. I stood in my kitchen during Compline and cried my eyes out. I was so afraid. Washington, D.C. is four and a half miles from my house. Um, I don't think you have any idea how grateful I am for you. Um, your prayers have just been so wonderful and so calming. And they reminded me that it's just a feeling of fear. It's just a feeling. And I just have to breathe and remember that God is standing right beside me or behind me or somewhere. But I stood in the kitchen that night when I said the prayers for the city and I was watching the news and our whole city was on fire. Four miles from my house. <laughs> so yeah. I, yeah. Thank you, Lisa. Alexander, I, I want to thank you so much. Thank so you. much. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. There were nights when I could not sleep during the pandemic. I had some heavy insomnia and your voice would sleep, make me fall asleep. And, and the <laughs> prayer- <laughs> He has a beautiful voice, voice that way. <laughs> yeah. The prayer that, you know, that we might uh, uh, keep watch, you know, and then the, the one that we say toward the end here uh, that, that we may uh, wait, be awake with Christ or watch with Christ and rest in peace. It, it was real. Thank you. Oh, for all the fires that we still must weather and for all the things that we still must endure, may we conclude our prayers in ways that help to honor all of that spirit of Christ flowing through all of us. At the bottom of page 134, we say, guide us waking, guide us waking oh, Lord, oh Lord, and guard us, guard us sleeping, that awake we may, may watch, and us may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father um, and to the Son, Son and to the Holy Spirit, the Spirit as it was in the, beginning, in the beginning, is now, is now and, will be, and will be forever. Amen. Amen.
Guide us waking, waking O oh Lord, Lord, and guard us sleeping. That awake, we walk with Christ, Christ, Christ and sleep with you rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. To God. May the Almighty and merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit vouchsafe to bless us and keep us each and every one. Amen. And may the souls Amen. of our beloveds in Christ rest in peace. And rise in glory. In glory. Amen. Amen. Good night to everyone. This is such Good a night. Night. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. You. Thank you, everyone. Barry, I'll be in contact. Be well. Thank I you. Look forward to all right. You. Seeing you all in the different places and spaces and times. Be a people uh, are always. So and pretty. Matthew, I'm putting the Zoom link for Monday and Tuesday in the chat now. Great. So you. here it is, and hopefully it'll work tomorrow and Tuesday when uh, I'll try to sing it tomorrow. And uh, then Will and I will speak it and sing it on Tuesdays. So blessings. Thank you, Terry. Thank you all there. For your prayers every day. God loves you. <laughs>